Hiya, Dottie. Hiya. I thought we were doing a CS. We are. So, where is the patient? Fuck this. Hazel, where's my pet? We'll give her a few more minutes. Don't mind you, Rob. Just doing a piece of blood sample. Just gonna make a tiny little nick in the baby's scalp, okay? Thank you. Big push now. Here we go again. Big push. Good girl. Good girl. Big push. Good girl. You still got big dips here, boss. I know. Let's wait for the fetal pH. Yeah? Our thirds are all prepped. I know. H7.1. Okay. We're going to have to get your baby out straight away, OK? Number three, please. Fundal pressure. Are you OK? This baby's as far as a pancake. Let's just cut the cord, shall we? Mayo. Maybe we shouldn't have waited, boss. Just concentrate on this, Rob. Go. I'm just going to do an injection. Suction. Suction. Contract, please. There he goes. Well done. All's well that ends well. You notice? Know You've been Rogers Registrar for how long is it now? Surely you must have cause for concern. He's just delivered a healthy baby from a healthy mum. Rob. Rob. He was appointed based on his research in ovarian disease. That and the funding that he brings to the hospital. He isn't experienced enough in general obstetric practice to hold the post of consultant in O&G. You ever made a mistake? Ever killed someone? <laughs> I've been a doctor for 13 years. Of course I have. Well then, with all due respect, who are you to point the finger? Rob, I'm not being insensitive to the cricothyrotomy. Every doctor makes mistakes. But everybody in this hospital knows that Roger makes mistakes again and again and again. Now, that is not an isolated, uncharacteristic error. You know, if there's a willingness to uh, accept that or to learn from it or... You're wrong about him. He's a supportive boss. He's hard-working. He's a good guy. Roger Hurley may be a good guy. He's just not that good a doctor. Yvonne. Oh, you're going to be OK. Shit. Oh, God. Bloody hell! Hey, what's the difference between a midwife and a sperm? I don't know. <laughs> the sperm can find the cervix. <laughs> <laughs> Two centimetres dilated. You've a long way to go, my girl. A long, long way. Mrs. Carr should have her blood pressure checked hourly overnight. OK, I'll make sure the night staff know. That's about me done for the day. You? Mm, another hour or so, maybe. Long day. Long day. 
I could wait around if uh, an hour if you if you fancy going out for a quick drink. Sorry. Another night then. Next time I won't try talking to you on the ward. I do need to talk to you though. Rob. Do you think Roger Hurley's in Tomlinton? He's very into his research. He's genuinely caring about his patients. Have you ever seen him make mistakes? The maternity unit sees 4,000 labours a year. Some are bound to go wrong. Days go wrong more often than they should. Some people say they do. Who are some people? Hospital people. What do you say? I've been here long enough to know it's best never to say anything. Wait a second. Who are these people who slag him off anyway? Midwives, nurses, fucking porters. You asked me what people say, I told you. What do they say about me now? Hmm? I botched up a crate and killed someone. A complete waste of space. What do you say about me? I don't say anything about you, Rob. I'm sorry about Angela Strawberry. I'm sorry it happened on your ward. Please, don't say it wasn't my fault. I just need somebody to acknowledge I could have done better. You could have done better? If not tonight, can I see you tomorrow night? I'm married. I know. What happened shouldn't have happened, I'm sorry. I'm not. See me again. Appearance when he's good and ready. <laughs> um, do you uh, think about other people or scenarios during sex? I think that I'm a general. A general. Okay, and uh, do you enjoy sex? Would you describe it as satisfying or, or unsatisfying? Unsatisfying. And what is most unsatisfying? Oral. Okay, well, I wonder how much would be enough? Just some. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I know you're dying to ask. I'm not. Okay, I'm asking. I'm conducting interviews with sexually active patients and members and staff. Those who consent are being enrolled in a pilot study for bisphenol as a possible treatment for FSD. FSD? Female sexual dysfunction. Does cat suffer from... Shoe. Female sexual dysfunction. That's why you've not asked me, is it? I assumed you were involuntarily celibate. We're getting there, Yvonne. I want the little bugger out! Live room one. Six, seven, eight. Okay, okay, breathe. Relax. Oh, piss off. It's all right, love, breathe. Would you piss off at all? Sorry about the wait. I'm Dr. Duttle. She's 28 weeks pregnant. Will you need to deliver it early? Well, I'm 